Yo, what's up, everybody? It's the Marine Rapper, and you ain't black. I have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. Got blackness leaving my body, because Joseph told me nobody black voting for Trump is suave. Joe Biden, thanks for the guidance. So where do I turn this black heart and man it into somebody? Who made you the white man in charge of the black authority? Joe Biden, the biggest headache that I've had in my life. <laughs> Awesome. Man. Here we go, me, man. man. Me. Me. Yeah. Me. I told I told people this. I told people this. We got four years of going after Joe. Yeah. Sleepy Joe. Yeah. And we're gonna give him a run for his money. This is not nice, man. We this call him Jim Crow Joe on this show. <laughs> this is mean to Joe. So, Somebody right. Joe, man. So hit us, what's going on, man? So, so man. Marine. We I know we were talking we were talking about with Topher that, you know, and I'm gonna say it again, you guys hit the charts. You guys were banned, censored, and now you're back. Mm -hmm. That th this is crazy. This is crazy. So how does how did how did all this unfold? Started with um, Topher made a song called "The Patriot." It started on uh, TikTok. He kind of like went off a TikTok trend. He got connected with a Scottish girl. They collaborated uh, by using the vocal, um, and then also we got a producer to actually make it into a song. Uh, his name's Killer Vic. He's also a Marine. Um, and then Topher was like, "Oh man." I could do two verses, but I need somebody else, somebody who's like the most patriotic dude I know. Mm -hmm. And so he got with me because I usually wear like a flag jacket. I love America. I'm just glad to yeah. be here. So, Yo, so I I'm just a patriotic dude. So he he linked up with me. I did a verse um, like at 11 o'clock at night, sent it back to him like an hour yeah. or so later. And then after that, the rest is history. We uh, uploaded it the next day and then we hit number one on iTunes. They pulled it off of iTunes. The distributor wasn't messing with us. And then we went through another distributor and then we hit number one once again. So the people have spoken that this is the number one rap the song. Number one song. Yes. Yep. Yo, on bro. Billboard. It's the number one rap song on Billboard right now. Yeah. yeah. Right. Congratulations you know, on that, artists, Congratulations on that. Right there. Thank you. And yo, uh, Raymond, when I met you a couple of years ago, we actually met at film school. Okay. Uh, yep. I always knew you was uh, patriotic. Uh, you want to yep. share a little bit about your background, uh, you from the Marines, how you got the name and uh, how you support Donald Trump. Yeah. So basically, um, uh, the reason why I'm so patriotic is because I spent 10 years in the United States Marine Corps as a combat correspondent with infantry battalions. So I had oh. two combat deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan. Let's go. Um, and I was covering the stories and taking photos of the infantry and like maneuvering and patrolling through different cities and keeping people safe and doing humanitarian missions and stuff like that. Um, so being over there and seeing how unfortunate uh, some of those uh situations are um mm -hmm. and how it affects the iraqi children um it just, it just broke my heart and but it also kind of like strengthened my uh love for america and and made me realize how much i appreciate all mm -hmm. the blessings and all the freedoms we have here because when you go overseas mm -hmm. you start to realize how fortunate and exactly. how blessed we are in the us of a so i'm just like man i love america so i'm just really patriotic because of that reason also because like I did a lot of funeral details. We had to lay the flag over to the top of the casket of our fallen troops. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like the flag just has another meaning. Some people say like, oh, exactly. it's you know, a piece of cloth and it's like whatever. Like, but for me, it means so much, you know, because when we were overseas, we didn't worry about no racism. We didn't worry right. about yeah. no uh, mm -hmm. material stuff. It was like, I don't care if you black, white, brown, yeah. yellow, red. Can you shoot? Can you protect <laughs> right. me? Are you my right. brother? Right. Like you got yeah. my back. And then we're American. like, yeah. And then yeah. that's what it was about. And so like, it was like losing a brother when you lost somebody over there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so, so I just, I just have so much love for America and the flag and just like in our troops, because like without yeah. them, like we wouldn't have a lot of different freedoms. Yeah. So when I got back here to the States and, out of the, and I got out of the Marine Corps, I ended up going to film school and I ended up meeting one of your hosts here, Luke over there. And uh, he was, he was going to film school, but I was going for like the recording portion uh production as well as uh music business so that's where i kind of like cut my teeth and kind of started to meet different type of people but imagine me a black man in america yeah. uh in la wearing a american flag jacket walking through la all the time so they automatically thought i supported trump like <laughs> automatically <laughs> they're just like oh you're a trump right. supporter like dismissing me mm -hmm. and and yeah, I voted for Trump, but still, hey, yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> it's like a black man. A black man can't have an American jacket on, you yeah. know? Like, yeah, like yeah. what? Well, it's, yeah, crazy. I, it's crazy. I just want to say. I just want to say, it's crazy that you guys know each other. Small world, you know? Like, yeah, that's, just, that's crazy. It's so. a small world, and it's, it's crazy world, because yeah. it's kind of like when did patriotism and when did the American flag be associated be associated with um, 
like President Trump. Like it should be associated with everybody. With the, country, the American right, flag exactly. is everybody. Well, it doesn't and, matter if you're liberal, conservative, black, white, whatever. The flag represents America. So why can't I represent America every day? Yeah, like and exactly. Luke will tell you, I, I literally wore that every day. Yeah, literally, time. Yeah. You li- literally every day. Like yeah. I'm not yeah. playing games. And which is interesting too, <laughs> because when we were actually in school, Barack Obama was still president. Mm-hmm. So, yep. and I know you told me that you voted for Barack Obama twice. I did. Yes, I, like did. I, I did. I voted for Obama. Yep. So what was that transition like from you? From I did voting the first, for him the, the first time, the second time, and then what made you change in 2016? Change. Um, well, I voted for Obama because he looks like me. You know what I mean? It's inspiring. You know what I mean? You're a young black kid and you thought you'd never see a black president. So the first time I'm like, yeah, I want to vote for a black president. Same here. Right. Same just here. to see it one time at least. I just yeah. got to be honest. I got to be honest. I'm not going to be like, oh, his policy. No, I voted for him because he's a, a black oh, man yeah. and he <laughs> inspires me. I got to be honest. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, for real. real. It's just real talk. That's it's real, real, talk. real. I know. Um, and then he was like, yo, hey, man, I, I know I have the four years, but I need a little bit more time. These people over here in the government aren't letting me do what I need to do. So I was like, for sure, I'm going to vote for you. I support you. You didn't mess up anything, really. You know what I mean? So, like, let's 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 get with it. And so I voted for him the second time. And then my transition was like, wait a minute. I started doing doing research. I was like, yo, what is really happening? That's all it takes. You know, what is what is happening in the government? How's it affecting the people, people around me, people I know? And I was just like, man, as I started to do more research, I realized I was like, yo, I kind of align with a lot more of the conservative side. Exactly. Yeah. Let yeah. me not listen to what people are saying about, oh, Trump is this, Trump is that. Like, I really want to do the research. And when I did the research, I realized that the people who they said was racist was not. And the people who and, they're saying yeah. that's not racist were. And, you and, know what I mean? And, I, and, I, and I, yeah. when you said that about researching, I hope you mm-hmm. have a similar story about how you went on a, a, a bend mm-hmm. of research to find out yeah. what's really going on in America. Absolutely. I mean, that was the same thing with me. I, I wanted to uh, find some information to debate these Trump supporters. I got yep. I was sick of them. I, you know, uh, you know, the Trump supporters <laughs> all over the place. You he know become saying? one. Yeah, yeah. And then I got <laughs> red pill. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you got red pill. That's it. Doing your research. That seems to be the common thread, the common thing. That yeah. If you do your research, somehow you find yourself and, on the right side of and, history. And, and I'm a free I, thinker. And I said, this, I, said, yep. I said this all the time. It's not about left or right anymore. It's about yeah. educated and misinformed. Uh, wow. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Seriously. <laughs> and, and, with, and with me, it's with me, it's like a double research thing that I have to do because one, you know, I'm a Marine, so mm. I can't say nothing that's inaccurate about the military because a lot of my content's about the military. So mm-hmm. um, because if I did, I would have a Marine call me out and I don't mm. want that to happen. So I have to be accurate on that on the military right. side. And then politically I have to be super accurate because somebody's going to call you out at me. Oh, no, you missed one part or you're wrong mm-hmm. here or whatever. Exactly. And then especially like musically wise, a lot of times I'll mix in the politics and the military and, and all of that in my music. Mm. And I love it to be accurate and people play it yeah. again. They're like, oh, man, I love that song. Not only is it bars, but also he's accurate. Like, Well, dude, about, speaking you know of I mean? accuracy, man, I got to call you out on something here. What's up? I'm watching, <laughs> your, I'm watching your music video. And you said as of January 6, 2021, it was number three on the hip hop charts. From what I understand, you got to update that to number one now, Let's brother. Go. You got to update Let's that go. to number one. Let's go. Hey, bro, when I edited the video, like, it was climbing. I don't know what to say. Yeah. And speaking <laughs> of, <laughs> you were performing the number one song in DC. What was that experience like for you, bro? Oh, man, that was the craziest thing. It was the craziest thing because, so me and Topher were in DC. Like, I didn't tell Topher I, I would be there for sure, but I knew where he was going. <laughs> and then I just ended up flying out there. I was like, yo, Toph, I'm in D.C. We need to figure out how we're going to rock this song because they want us to perform a mile away from the Capitol mm-hmm. um, for the first time, right after the president gets off the stage. And mm-hmm. I'm talking about President Trump at the time. So he's like, all right, bet. Give me like an hour to maneuver through all the crowds and stuff. And then he got there. Listen, mind you, we only made the song two weeks earlier. So mm-hmm. literally, we did like a 30-minute rehearsal off by the trees and stuff. And at the same time, there's this like a weird guy like approaching us and trying to like get pictures, like literally camera in our face like TMZ. And we're like, hey, bro, we're not trying to be mean, but you got to go because we're rehearsing. we got a show. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? So luckily, I had another Marine with me, like a big, like, like, like two... Two MAGA hulks, you know, like, a big dude, oh, a big dude. Boy. He like, he like, got the guy to the they side. They make him like, bigger. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just, yeah. I thought you uh, were the super size model MAGA hey. hulk. Yeah. No, MAGA hulk is big, but there's this big Marine dude that I know. He's just like, just stacked. So, yeah. so, so, but does he support Trump? 
Yes. Yes. So so okay. So this is the Mega Hulk. So do we call him Magazilla? <laughs> Magazilla. Magazilla. He's like the abominable Maga Man or something. Right. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> so he's like a big, he's like a, yeah, Maga Nader. Yeah, Maga Nader. Exactly. Maga Nader. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. So, Continue. So so we were rehearsing, and then after we rehearsed, right after President Trump got off the stage, we literally got up and started performing the Patriot. Me and Topher. So we're rocking the stage. We're like loud and proud, loud and proud. Yeah, put your hands in your air like you just don't care, stuff like that. And then right after we finished, after everybody was cheering, a White House representative was like, you got to go. We have to evacuate the city. I was like, wow. What? I was like, what happened? Uh, they're like, yeah, there's something going down at the Capitol right now. We just don't want you in the city right now. So you need to go. And I was like, OK. So we evacuated the city. We went to Virginia and stuff. And then later we found out that literally while we're on the stage, that was when everything was going down. So it was like oh. it was like the craziest experience, but also yeah. the craziest alibi because nobody came to us because they knew where we were. It's on YouTube. I'm like, hey, we was not there. Like, literally, you can right. check in on YouTube. <laughs> so, we at, at the time. so what did you think? So by the time you got back to your hotel, I'm sure you saw on the TV of everything that was happening. What was yeah, going through I, your mind? I like, was just like. I was like, people got to. I know you didn't thing. support that. I know you didn't. No, support I did. No, no, I don't. I don't support. Capital. I don't support like ignorance and like buffoonery and stuff yeah. like that. Like I support yeah. the protesting and stuff like that. I support the you know marching and all that. I support all that. And, and I'm talking about from anybody. I'm all right. Americans, mm -hmm. BLM, uh, Latinos, uh, you know, Trump supporters. I don't care who you are. If you want to protest and you're an American, you have the, the right protest. to do yeah, so. Exactly. Not the law. I just don't. I don't feel like you should be just doing stuff, breaking in windows and, yeah, and, exactly. and climbing fences and stuff, and yeah. and going in there with zip ties. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, it just Asking was a whole bunch Trump. of people and, and who kind of like messed it up, and they kind of like messed it up for Trump at the same time. Exactly. So it's like yeah. I don't support it. And yeah. and they used that small minority to blame, and now they're blaming the, the ninety-five yeah. or ninety-nine percent of the people that were pro, uh, peaceful, right? The yeah. 99%. And now they're using it to demonize us. Yeah. To actually go after us. They've had talks, you know. Yeah. Um, we talked about it before with John Brennan and the statements that he's made uh, yeah. in regards to us. So, you know, it's a scary time. It really is a, a difficult time in our country. And yeah. I think that's why, you know, when we're having things like, you know, people speaking out, your, you know, your song being number one. These things are very important right now because we're at a crucial part in our country that everybody needs to step up and do something. Yeah. And everybody that has great influence like this and mm -hmm. you can see it based on the people's vote. Yeah. With their dollars making you number one again after being banned. It yeah. just shows that we all love our country. We all want what's best for our country. And we're going to do what needs to be done in order to protect uh, our country and, and the rights that we have, dear. Yeah, and yeah. and I got I got to I got to jump in here for a second yeah. too. Is, I mean, you may not be able to see it on your screen yet, but we're throwing it on here for the viewers. I mean, your music video came out after the audio track came out. It sounds Correct. like we we were and, number one and we didn't even have a video yet. Yeah, exactly. you didn't have a video yet, and I'm watching this video and our audience can see it now. I mean, this is some seriously patriotic imagery, like. I haven't seen this much love for America. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is the antithesis of Colin, Ka Colin Kaepernick's version of the story. Yeah. You know, yeah. when you got yeah. brothers like loud and proud in it with the American flag. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I mean, not singing the national anthem, but the freaking most patriotic song I've heard since yeah. that one country song they always play too much at July 4th yeah. parades. You know what I'm you. saying? That's my new anthem. But <laughs> I, I mean, this is what's the feedback been on the music video man everybody was saying that they loved it and and that's what and that was what we wanted to do we wanted to make it representative of america we didn't want to make it like one-sided like all trump supporters or you know all blm like as right. you notice like through there there's like a whole bunch of different people exactly because we Normal wanted to Americans. depict america how it is like you know Dude, when i you say got the, you got the whole freaking platoon here yep yep you know a whole, and, a whole group we we have a whole whole bunch of stuff and you know when i say this is for the sisters working hard on the ship. Oh, dude. What I'm, what I'm saying, I mean, I literally Bro. mean black women working. That's Bro. what I mean. Mm -hmm. I literally, you took the words right out of mm -hmm. my mouth. Mm -hmm. I had queued up in two minutes into your video. <laughs> I love how you say this is for all the sisters working on the shift and for yep. all the fathers. And I'm going to totally misquote you here because I don't have it memorized yet. <laughs> but you're like, you know, for all the fathers that are owning it and for all the brothers getting your doctorate and all that yeah. other stuff. Like... I went to film school and one of the best representations or definitions of good documentary filmmaking that I ever heard was the teacher said that is the glorification 
um, of the everyday and exactly. the nobility mm-hmm. of the everyday, yeah, okay. which exactly. has been lost in so much of our art form. And it's cool when we listen to the Ghetto Boys in the 90s and he's talking about, I think I'm, I'm going crazy because that's what the gangster life does to you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, and it's pretty rad when you listen to, you know, some of the original hip hop artists and things like that. But then, I, I mean, I don't know if it's like when Tupac Shakur said, uh, you know, rap's getting soft or what, but hip hop's kind of sucked for a little while. And now there's this massive rebirth, ironically, from conservative mm-hmm. rappers mm-hmm. like i, I yeah. never thought yes, we'd sir. be saying that word. Yes, <laughs> you know what i'm saying but like now you're getting these conservative rappers that are glorifying the every yeah. day like mm-hmm. we used to hear about life in the street in the 90s and it was awesome and it's why we loved all of those original gangsters mm-hmm. of uh, of hip-hop that yep. were coming out of the 90s and then that kind of got lost you know what well, I'm see, saying? No, and well, now it, it's coming back, like with you yeah. saying, glorifying these people. Yeah, and the reason why that is, I'll, I'll tell you something that little people know. Um, mm-hmm. I actually met Ice-T one time um, at a hip-hop concert backstage in VIP. And I met him, I was like, yo, what advice do you have for, it's when I was still like around LA. I was like, what advice do you have for like the up and coming artists, like the younger artists? And he's like, first of all, be a producer. Second of all, whenever you make a song, make sure that song depicts your environment and your mentality. And as long as it's real, people will respect it. And mm-hmm. so like, and Ice-T is saying this to me. So I'm mm-hmm. like, what? And then Ice-T is also an army vet. So I'm like, totally like, my mind's blown. So I'm just like, wow. Like everything I say from this point has to be real and authentic. It doesn't matter if you grew up skateboarding. It doesn't matter if you grew up in LA, the country, um, listening to rock music. It doesn't matter as long as whatever you're doing is authentic, people are going to respect it. So that's why we make music the way we do. We're like, yo, everybody's talking about, you know, clubbing and all this crazy type of stuff and girls Mm -hmm. in in cars and stuff like that. First of all, you're not doing that because nobody's really doing all that, (laughs) especially not right now. But still, like, they're really not doing that because most artists don't even have money. They're, like, broke and they, like, rent out stuff. Like, that's a little (laughs) known thing about the industry. No, it's true. Like, that's why they're mad at us because – the. The label's got no money off of this. Bro, you got to fake it till you make it, man. (laughs) They ain't ain't faking it, that's for sure. And they're they're faking it. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like, yeah, I I don't feel good writing something that's not Mm. real to me. So I like to depict that reality. It's like what I do is like reality rap. Like I want you to be able to like look it up later and be like, oh, snap, he was in the Marine Corps. Oh, or oh, snap. Mm. Luke does know him. He did go to that school. You know what I mean? I, it feels good when, when somebody could co-sign you and then it's actually Authentic, a song yeah. too. And you're like, yeah, I, this feels good to listen to because it's yeah. reality. And we we notice, you know, all our group, you know, me, Topher, Bryson Gray, um, you hear stuff from Tom McDonald. You hear stuff from, um, yeah, you know, people like that uh, in, in that conservative world. Yeah. Um, and DCure too. You hear a whole bunch of uh, different artists talk about reality now because reality. there's so much fakeness. It's literally unique to be real. You know what? <laughs> like, great, that's no, a great you, point. You, yeah, you touched on a good point because that's the thing. I was just having a conversation with a friend of mine about. I feel like that right there, what you mentioned, is us getting back to our roots. Because I know for me, for example, growing up, I feel like I was raised to hate America, and I was yeah. raised to uh, hate um, like the army and to hate the police and to, Mm -hmm. you know, be attracted to those things that was all in the music. But that's not who we are. That's not the type of life that we as uh, black people in the community was raised to be. I felt like that's the trajectory that this type of music took us on, right? To where it all became about gangster rap. It all became about WAP and stuff like that. But now the songs that you and Topher got out right now, those songs are getting us back to our roots, I feel like. You know, talking yeah. about. I mean, there's a giant living. cross in the back of your film. Talk about venerating Judeo Christian values. Let's go. You know? <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. Well, well, every 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 image in that video is deliberate. Yeah. Everything yeah, is exactly. deliberate. Sure, we wanted yeah. to Good. we wanted to say, hey, we're God fearing men. Hey, we're military men. We're patriotic men. Exactly. Like we're literally elevating black voices because we had to climb that mountain. I don't know if you saw the the the, uh, the drone, like how high we were. We're how could we miss of- the drone, man? And by the way, look at this video, MAGA. Freaking Topher stole your flag, dude. 
Let's go. He stole your flag and <laughs> man. Look at that, man. Man. You, you got to go back and get that from him. I'm going to need that. <laughs> yeah. I need, I need, I need yeah. that back, as a matter of fact. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's, ama- that's amazing. I love the imagery. Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's, I mean, showing the depiction of America, uh, loving America, being about your country, mm-hmm. I don't see that as a racist thing. I don't think it shouldn't be a conservative thing, but it is because it seems like the left is so anti-American at, at this point in time. But, you know, I really appreciate the fact that you, you, you put out such a patriotic hit and people are eating it up. Yeah, I love that. That <laughs> freaking you know awesome. you're talking about this because it's called the Overton window. You know when you actually move the political spectrum one way or another, it's perceived as what reality is. And like we were talking about, I think we're we're, we're getting somewhere mm-hmm. where uh, rap came out was rebellious during the time in mm-hmm. which that we had oppression. I mean, let's just put it there. We had a long history, and we were rebelling. Mm-hmm. And that's what gangster rap was. It was, I mean, uh, the the beginning of the rap. Then it became gangster, and then it just kind of just plateaued, whatnot. But now we have this society because again, the Overton window sh- uh, mm-hmm. shifts mm-hmm. throughout you know the years, and now and now you you think about it, you go, okay, now they're telling us that it's racist to um, support the country, and that minorities don't have a place in America. Yeah. So then now the rebellion is that. No, we love our country. Yeah, no, exactly. we all, th- this yeah. is our country, yeah. and now the rebellion is back again. Mm-hmm. And I think yep. that we're, that's something that we're we're we're, we're starting to crystallize is what is that little you know magic? And I think that's what yeah. it is. I think that's what you guys are doing. So I, kudos to um, everybody that's doing it. But if the fact that you got banned and went back and number one, that is amazing. Yeah, so and not just number one because it was number one on iTunes. It, but um, after the song came back, it ended up being number one on Billboard. And if you know anything about Billboard, yeah. Billboard yeah. is the authority. You yep. Well, then we it. need a music video, dog. You got you to make another records. one. You got to come what? back down here and make another music video with us now that it's one, just so we can fix that title card. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, when, yeah, I'll, I'll come back now. We'll be bringing that Billboard plaque with us. Yes. Yeah. 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 Billboard plaque. Right here. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Let me just ask you this real fast, just to yeah. see. Does winning a Grammy mean anything to you? What do you think about the Grammys? You, you heard how, okay, the, the current Grammys, right? It was a category. I couldn't believe, I can't remember the category, but three white artists dropped out because they said they couldn't stand that every nominee in their category was white, that there were yeah. no non-white nominees. So they're yeah. so woke that they're going to turn away. <laughs> you know, <laughs> man, I just, I just, you know, I got I got a comment on that. Like, I hate the whole, like <laughs> the woke type of thing. It's yeah. like, I don't need you to speak for me. Thank I don't, you. Thank I don't you. need. Eno- I don't need one white man to tell another white man he's not doing enough for me. Like, right. Like, right. 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 Thank you. Like, I just don't understand Thank it. Like I'm like, no, Thank I got you. it. I can do it myself. What are you talking about? I I'm out there marching for you. No, I'm too busy working. Like, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. Like, I don't get it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, why are you woke for no reason? Because you're trying to show off to somebody. Woke for somebody. Because you're trying to show off to somebody. I don't. Thank I don't understand you. why. Well, I, I've, I've talked about that. I made a video once and it got kind of traction because people felt it. I said. You know what? This is weird because <laughs> you want to call us on the right races, but yeah. I'm looking at the left, and most of them are not black on you know, mm-hmm. BLM, you know, marches and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And you're saying that, oh well, and I hear them in the streets talking in interviews about uh, um, what do you call it, uh, systemic racism and yeah. uh, mm-hmm. white guilt and all yeah. that stuff. And I'm yeah. like, you're doing it. You're yeah. saying us yeah. over here doing yeah. it, but then you're literally in the streets marching for black people. And it's not even it's mostly not black, mostly non-black. And yeah. they're saying that pe- the people on the right have white privilege when they're doing it themselves. Well, first and foremost, don't yeah. try to sell me my own dad going oppression. Thank you. Stop that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't stand that. You know, uh, we're doing it like you said. Do doing this for you. Don't do it for me. Stop. Don't do me any favors. Don't well, do me and any and the other thing please. is, we really have to reevaluate some of these words. Like uh, minority has been such a bludgeon in politics for so mm-hmm. long, mm-hmm. but in this room. Right now, physically, yeah. who's yeah. the minority? Yeah. I knew you were going and, 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 you. And, and not just that, in LA City, yeah. guys that look like me, yeah. who's the minority? Yeah. Yeah. That would be Us. you. In LA County, white males, <laughs> who's the minority? That would yeah. be me. You. you know what I'm saying? Like, like, so it's like, yep. I, I, but, but the funny part is, I speak Spanish, 
better than the fake Spanish speaking part I Puerto know. Rican or Barico or whatever you call no. yourself. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Like, like, so, I can't, so, man. so, yeah. am I the Hispano hablante that needs translation services? Yeah, like, I mean, wow, just like, that was good. We know, I like that little accent. <laughs> oh, you, you are what? Gracias, mi amigo. Hablamos después. You know what I'm saying? Hey, anyway, uh, right there. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 got, you, hey, you got that. You got that telenovela voice. Yeah. No, actually, it's been a total dream of me. To, a dream of mine. A it, I will die a happy man with no other movie credit to my name if I can get on Telemundo, Telemundo. and just have wow. one scene yeah. where I just walk in. I'm like, Vanessa. <laughs> you know what I said? You know, I'm good to my on. love. You know, that I just get need on. one line it. like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So so we need to reevaluate this really fast because the what the mainstream media is putting forward is that for some odd reason, because you look the way you do mm. and I look the way I do, that I'm not allowed to think that that music video is freaking amazing mm -hmm. and that somebody is supposed to be pissed about something culturally, culturally appropriated yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Let's yeah. find it. And, and, and for it some yeah. boneheaded reason, when I, uh, when the crap hits the fan and China finally invades and they create that human land bridge, all the statisticians are always talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that if we were to go and march together, that 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 I would not see you as anything other but my brother in arms. Yeah. That is yeah. it. That's the only yeah. measurable quantifier that counts there. That's what it yeah. should be. But yeah. but but. It, uh, what is that fix from your point of view, man? You've broken through to a certain extent. The yeah. merit of what you made has broken through. And, 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 and there is such a false narrative out there that for some reason, dictated by people who profit off of it, that, that, that we're not allowed to think this is awesome and I'm not allowed to say, dude, that's the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. I love your vibe. I want to produce your next music video. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So, so what, what in your experience, what... How do you fight that, this idea that you're not an African-American first, but an American first, and that you and I are brothers? We are not opposites. We are not others, but we are brothers. What, what has worked for you? Oh, for me, like, I just be myself, like, and Luke saw me in person, for real. I just, I literally walk around just the same all the time. People meet me. I stay the same all the time. I just stay authentic. You know, if you yeah. like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. You know, me and Luke has had some deeper conversations on Taco Tuesdays and things like that. Sometimes I remember <laughs> that. Uh, but yeah, like cultural. I just I just be myself. <laughs> um, and and I let them know. Yeah, I love America. You know, yeah. I'm proud of my American heritage and I'm proud of my Black heritage. Um, and I can you can do both. You guys. can do both. Okay, yeah. you can, yeah. you right. can say I love being you Black and I love being American. Duality. You don't have to separate it. I don't know exactly. why people are doing that. So the, the way that time. I combat any of the stereotypes and all of the naysayers and stuff. I just do me like some, and now I'm at a level to where I'm like, man, I'm number one on billboard. I'm gonna just block them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just block them. Oh, yeah. Just block them. So yeah. I have a question because I asked her for this and I'm going to ask you this on a, you know, on a, on a fundamental level. Wait, you why took it you... out of a Mason job, brother? Yeah, why not? Is oh, that yeah, is that cultural gotta, appropriation? Oh, no, gotta, <laughs> <laughs> that's like vegan well, Williamsburg Mason, hipster <laughs> appropriation <laughs> right there, man. You know, <laughs> I just do I just do my thing. I just do that's it. That's awesome, it's cool. man. So, so, and, so. Oh, and that's another thing I want to add to that really quick, though. Like the thing is, is like people are like, "Can I do this? Can I do that? Isn't that like why you don't have to ask permission right, to do stuff? Just do it. Dude, like if you man. don't be scared." And and that's the problem with the a lot of people in America. They agree with us, yes. but they're yeah. scared. Yeah. They are scared yeah. they're going to get canceled, quote yeah. unquote. Canceled but I'm just like, if you go around and you walk around like you can't be canceled, nobody's going to cancel you. You know what? I was you walking just, around yeah, in yeah. LA with an American flag jacket yep. as a black man. So they're just like, oh, oh. hey, I, I, I rock my mega hat anywhere. Me too. I, I, Me too, <laughs> I don't man. care. Hey, so but the, I, but I, the I thing is, that. they say online that they're going to do something, but when you meet them, they're just hey, quiet. They can make an autograph. They try to dap you up. I'm like, yo, where's all that rah rah that you was talking online? But I meet you in person and I don't see none of that lying. I don't see none of it. So, you know what I mean? So let me so ask. So it's like, it's crazy. So let me ask you this, because I asked yeah, you for up? this. What do you, what is the reason that you think they got banned? They banned that, that video or that song. What was the, what do you think like at your core, why they censored it? Well, there could be a multiple, um, there's, there could be multiple answers to that. Yeah. So first of all, we're independent. We went through no label and mm -hmm. we like broke the code by ourselves. And also we spent no money to. To, uh, to promote it, to right. fund this song right. at all, none. We didn't spend no Dude, money. You're the GameStop uh, rebellion against Wall Street, but just in the music world. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, the <laughs> like the they're, they're hating on that right now. Yeah. Okay, 
But it's also like me and Topher both come from the military. So we always took orders, you know what I mean? So it's also another layer of that. It's like we got out to do what we want to do mm-hmm. and have nobody like control that. So why would we sign another contract mm-hmm. for somebody to control our civilian life now? Got it just you. doesn't make any sense for us. Yeah. So we're like, hey, we know how to do graphics. We know how to do the music. We know how to what record ourselves because mm-hmm. I went to L.A. film school. Right, Luke, uh, we know how to do everything ourselves. So why do Might we need well. to go to a label to tell us uh, what to say? We know what to say. Exactly. Uh, we have the experiences and all of our experiences are going to be way cooler than any car, girl, money, drink. They're going to tell us to rap about. Mm. I'm not trying to do that. So it's just it, it, it was just so organic to us to uh, to do it on our own mm-hmm. um, like that. So that's why we went independent. Um, but so that's one of the reasons that I feel like maybe they got upset. The stores got upset or the distributor got upset was because we were independent. Second, unfortunately, all that nonsense happened at the Capitol at the same time. And because around that time, they the word the patriot, patriot was, was not becoming, a good yeah. word. Mm-hmm. So it kind of probably affected somebody at a high place somewhere in those establishments. Uh, but that's like kind of like speculation. We honestly don't know. But what we do know is they like created a monster. They made us bigger. So whoever pulled us, thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. you made us number one. Well, I, I said this too, is that it's being censored is like a badge of honor nowadays. Remember? Yeah. He was yeah. talking about, you know, like getting a Grammy is like, you know, getting a ring from Mordor or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if you're, but yeah, if you're banned, it's a badge of honor nowadays. Yeah. And that's what I talk about the rebellion, the, the rebellionness. You know, right? We had rebellion. And that's what hip hop has always been. It's always been like kind of like counterculture a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's always been like we are going to say something and it's going to be offensive to like half oh, of you. Like edgy. you know what I mean? Very like, edgy. It's yeah. always been like that. It's always been like that. And like you know, when I talked to Ice T, he told me the same thing. Like hip hop, the roots and all of that, it started um, as like that rebellious counterculture. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna tell you how I'm living regardless if you like it or not, stuff like mm. that. Hip hop was always like that. Until so, white people, white liberals took it over. Yeah. And they started so, to say, hey, why don't you wear this chain? Them. Why don't you exactly. drive this car? Why exactly. don't you hold this product? Because we wanna make as much money, money off of you possible. Yep. and yep. pay Got you it. pennies. Yeah. And Got then it. you And then you wonder why we didn't like sign are you serious why would we sign up to get our money taken that sounds no that doesn't make any sense yeah. 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 well also i mean you're really reflecting what patrice o'neill said he said like a good comedian absolutely uh, makes half of the room totally laugh and the other half of the room completely yes, aghast mm-hmm. and angry mm-hmm. and and the counterculture vibe is 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 really what i've noticed because you say this all the time kick that you know conservative is the new punk rock Mm -hmm. now technically i saw that as graffiti in la saying libertarian was the new punk rock in early two south through 2000s so maybe the libertarians you know beat you to it but you know there's only like two of them out there so you could probably take it over just fine you know but um have you noticed that taking the conservative bend what advantages to you in your music be it the promotion or the artistry thereof or the um, I don't know the, the the vibe or the marketing of it. What advantages of being a conservative rapper have you noticed? Um, there's been a lot of advantages. Uh, I don't really like view myself as a conservative rapper because I've always just been like me. I've been Raymond, but I had some different experiences in the military. Bro, do I gotta put your music pop- video up there with the American flag no, waving all crazy? That's not conservative. That's, that's not conservative. conservative. That's, that's patriotic. No, ask, yeah. ask Luke. Ask Luke. Yeah. I, I literally live like that. And he's like his that. authentic self. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I think it's fair to say uh, the America would consider that conservative. I mean, uh, MAGA. Well, he's the rapping version of you with that flagpole, dude. That's the only thing that patriotism has become synonymous with conservatism. You know, you know that's what that's the way it's been. Well, that's the way it's become as of right now. Um, it shouldn't. It, it shouldn't be. It should just be American. You know, exactly right. Um, but it's yeah. It's patriotism hey, has become synonymous hey, with conservatism. Hey, Marine, yeah, so, you can't be yeah. you, Marine. You can't be stealing Hulk's flagpole, man. Yeah, You're gonna that wasn't me. No, that wasn't me. That was Tober. That's Tober. Oh, Tober. Oh, my fault. My fault. Both of y'all bullies. Yeah. How about that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I like. I have a flag jacket. I don't need to. Like my exactly, jacket is right. a flag. Do, do you have one that's like like we can get on Hulk? Like, yeah. Do you have a big one like that? Yeah. Because I don't think. We gotta get him. Actually, one. actually, he should wear mine so he can bust out it just like the Hulk. Ooh, <laughs> that is gold. Wait yeah. a minute. You know how Hulk smashes so, through I'm stuff? I'm down with that. If yeah. you did it through an American jacket and smashed through it, 
Bro, Literally we like got to get you on the next music video, dude. Let's go. Hey, oh. hey so, hey, Marco Hulk, you going to be on that next, that next music video? Let's go. All right, let's, hey, let's go. go. Where's my invite? Yeah, where's the love for everybody <laughs> else? Don't worry about that, man. Let's go. <laughs> You should be asking all, all of y'all is invited. Parents. All of y'all. <laughs> but Raymond, you were talking about the advantages, though. Like any, yeah. Any so let me let me go back to yeah. the advantages. Um. So basically, all I was saying was like, you know, I look at myself as just Raymond, just as a person. Mm -hmm. You know, my moniker is the Marine Rapper. Um. I have conservative views. Uh. Military military views because I was in the military and stuff like that. Um. Uh. It's it's kind of weird because I never really looked at it like, oh, let me see what I can get or how I can exploit certain things because it's just me. And it just, I aligned with some of the, you know, the views, like, you know, mm -hmm. the uh, love for God, country, you know, guns, first amendment and all that. It just lines up with who I am. Right. So right. it just ended up being an instant advantage yeah. lining up with some of the morals and some of the like talking points of the conservative movement. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of uh, advantages. Like the main one is everybody's loyal. Like literally right. they can't wait till we drop another song. Yeah. Like when we got our when we got our song pulled, yo, it was the most loyal moment ever. They went to my website and then literally bought it directly from us. Wow. So some of the people bought it three times. <laughs> three times. Wow. wow. So now the, I, I would say the number one benefit would be the loyalty. The That's loyalty, fantastic. yeah. Okay, now I, I would actually like to ask you a quick question about distribution yeah. because, I mean, uh, like we talked about earlier, you've been censored. We talked to Forgiato yeah. Blow about getting censored. Mm -hmm. We talked to Topher about getting censored. Yep. You, you say in the beginning of your music video, you know, censorship, hey, this cheese is real, and it's great you got back on YouTube, but, you know, you're taken off of other platforms and so on and so forth. Yep. So, like, what have you found has been the effective distribution model? Are, are you sending out CDs like uh, the rapper McDonald, I think is his last name. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're talking uh, about Tom McDonald? You yeah. said CDs? Yeah. Like, does, do you just, how, how do you find is that? Because, you know, you are the new underground. You are the new counterculture. Yeah. You know, yep. and, and just like when I was walking down in L.A., it would be sick. You'd see, like, these just up-and-coming artists, like, wanting to push yeah. their CDs on the uh, on the corner. And it was like, you felt it. It's like, dude, I just spent my freaking, like, summer savings on, on these 500 CDs. Mm -hmm. and, and I want to get my music out so bad, I'm going to freaking just give them out if I have to. You know what I'm saying? There, yeah. There's a coolness and a greatness and a beauty to that that I think is what the original vibe of the original wave of hip-hop was that seems to be returning in what you guys are doing. And, and, and it's why it's so fun and interesting to watch, you know. So, so distribution-wise, what has been what has been most effective for you? Because you can't just throw it up on all the traditional platforms now. They'll they'll boot you off and keep all the exactly. money. Exactly. Exactly. So, so to answer that question, thank you. That was a great question about distribution. To answer the distribution question, um, we do what we got to do. We're hustlers. We're exactly. we adapt and overcome. We come from the military. Like a lot of times. You know, for example, say if we're on the range and we have a target and we're about to shoot a target and if it moves, we just adjust like mm -hmm. we don't complain. We don't stop. We just adjust to the you know, it's mm -hmm. like, like literally I have that Marine vibe. So anything I do, I adapt and I overcome. They pulled it down. Topher called me two minutes later with the producer and was like, let's get it. Let's figure this out. And then we're like, all right, we'll sell CDs now. Bam. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh. we'll do whatever we got. to. If we had to show up at everybody's door, we would have done it. Where like can everybody had, find that CD right now for the people? Oh, these that, are sold out. These, I'm about to mail this. Are you about to mail it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like, li hey, like literally, it's it, it's signed by both of us. Dope. Um, He's going to mail it to us. Basically, Rock this on. is yeah. a, um, it's a CD, but it means a lot because everybody who bought this, they bought it when we got pulled. Mm. So right. mm. it was a representation and it was a protest um, yeah. in the form of a dollar yeah. to us saying yeah. we don't support the censorship. So if it, you man. have this, you're a part of history because they literally uh, supported us financially during a very hard time yeah. because people don't realize like we put everything into it. Uh, Luke knows he saw me going back and forth every day to school, you yeah. know, scraping up change for Taco Tuesday and stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, musicians and artists, we don't make nothing. Exactly. So for us to be supported by a strong fan base um, and actually have them buy CDs, yeah. like yeah. when they're not even going to play it, most of them, that means a lot, so we really appreciate that. But when it comes to distribution or it comes to any other topic, we always adapt and overcome. As you should, man. Yeah, that's freaking fantastic. You know what? Before we get out of here, though, 
I wanted to talk about one topic. I don't know if you happen to see the uh, Van Jones interview on The View. Probably not because nobody watches The View. Yeah, I, don't, I, I don't. obviously uh, haven't seen it. Haven't but he brought it up to me and I, I was saw like, the clip specifically because Van Jones was on there and he was speaking about, a lot of people may not know, but he was a, a out loud proud Democrat. You know, he cried yeah. on CNN uh, when Joe Biden was solidified by the fake media. So this same guy was on The View and he was speaking about President Trump, the great things that President Trump has done when it comes to prison reform, how he's helped yep. the black community mm-hmm. with school of choice. And as soon as he took that narrative, the other co-hosts, which are basically all non-black, you had Joy Behar, um, Anna Navarro, and Sonny Holston, they started calling him a traitor to the black community. Wow. And saying that the black community no longer trusts him because he's working with the enemy. And then when he started mm. to try to defend yep. himself, Anna Navarro attacked him for taking a picture with Candace Owens. And yeah. I just felt like that's the same narrative. Like you have non-black liberals telling us yeah. how to communicate with each other and how to fix problems in our community that we're working on with each other. Yep. Yeah, you know but elevate saying? black voices. Thank you. Only, yep. if you. only if it's the sentiment that we told you to say. Right. <laughs> Literally, right. only if it's, as soon as yes. he started to go off of, uh, go off a script, off script. Off yeah. they yeah. shut yeah. him down. They shut his mic down and Joy Behar told him to go home and take a nap. Literally. Go home and take a nap? She, they dismissed <laughs> yeah. him like a child. It was embarrassing. And then he was like laughing about it and he had to kind of speak under the microphone and was saying, hey, I can take pictures with who I want to. When, wow. Uh, when they asked so him who is really the slave master? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. See, that's, wow. That's I'm sorry. I'm I'm free. I'm free. No, <laughs> you know? I'm so good? free. Doesn't like whatever. Like it, it's really sad that people don't see that they're enslaved by these like mm-hmm. elitist uh, minded liberals. It's crazy. It, what what's your next step, man? Are you just gonna keep doing one offs? Are 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 you gonna go for like broke and hit an album? Are you know are you gonna do a surprise concert and just streak the Beyonce stage? style? Next, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like what what's going on? What's up next? Well, um, I got an album coming out and uh, let's go, woo-hoo! let's go. But the but the but the first song's coming out on uh, the twelfth. It's called Culture War. Culture nice. War. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's we need to keep. No, 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 it's the same. It's the same name as the album too. It's called Culture War, mm-hmm. uh, because I just feel like people expect me as a black man to be a certain way, and I'm like, no, I'm college educated. My mom, she comes from the hood. She didn't want me back in the hood. She was like, wear a belt. She was like, yeah. you won't speak yep. incorrectly. You yep. will speak correctly. Um, when it comes to being resourceful, you will be resourceful. I'm not just going to give you the answer. Mm. When you hit 16, you will get a job. Let's like go. Yep. Uh, You will cook. You will clean. You yep. don't need a woman for anything. You will iron your own clothes. You will clean up in the morning. You will make your own food. Like my mom taught me this. Yeah. She comes from New- Newark, New Jersey. If you know Newark, New Jersey, it's right there by New York. Mm-hmm. And I was born there too. I was born in New Jersey. Okay. Like it was one of the murder capitals. It was, it was one of the murder capitals in the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she didn't want me in that. She wanted me out of that. And she was like, you will speak right. You won't be sagging. I don't want to see your underwear and all that stuff. She didn't want Fantastic. me looking like that. Fantastic. Um, so I wanted to make music and I wanted to make an album that reflects that I came from that, but I don't have to be that just mm. because somebody told me I had to exactly. be that. And what is culture anyway? Right. It's and, definitely and, not beating up my own people on World Star. Yeah. It, it's thank definitely you. not gossiping about thank you. people on Shade Room. World Star. You know what I'm saying? Room. Like it's none of that. So and you know what? I'm, I feel I'm, like Black Lives Matter, that's, that's, the that's, sentiment that's, is great. Like yeah. Yeah. Black Lives Matter is me calling my mom on her birthday. Yeah, the actual statement. It's yeah. me yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's me, yeah. it's me making sure my daughter's good. Come it's on. me talking to y'all. It's me saying, hey, brother, I support you. It's me sharing my, my bros toe for music. I'm telling you right now. A lot now, of people hate on each you, other. I'm so it's like, you, I'm, that's Black Lives Matter. Yeah. You know I'm telling, what I mean? That's why you saw in the video. That's why you saw in the video. Um, I put a whole bunch of black people in there on purpose. Whole bunch of successful people. My yeah. brother's a doctor. You yeah, know what I mean? Amazing. But they won't, yeah. they won't tell you that. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, so that's crazy. it's kind of like I wanted to depict a different side. Um, so they could see that the black community, the black culture is not a monolith. You exactly. don't have to Preach. be a rapper. You don't have to be a baller. You Preach. can be a Marine. You can be a doctor. You can, can be, be a, a metal worker. You can support Trump if you want. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You could be a podcaster. It doesn't matter. You can be a, a, a fashion father. designer. Yeah. Yeah. You can be a father. Yeah. You don't have to be one thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I threw and, all you guys in there. And, and, uh, you don't have to be one thing. <laughs> and so I'm hearing this right now. And uh, you're talking about free humanity, free America. Black America, we all love our country, and you know we've been saying the same thing. And I think 
the 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 termination is that you're not black. <laughs> According to Democrats. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, bro. <laughs> All right, now before we go, man, how can people find you? Yo, what's up? It's the Marine Rapper. You can find me everywhere at the Marine Rapper, and you can get merchandise on themarinerapper.com. And I'm out. Yut! All right. I, what's I, the name I, of our show? What's the name of our show? You, you ain't, ain't black. Black. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't black. And you ain't black. <laughs>